Yo, what's up everyone? I hope all of you are doing good and you're having a good week so far. On my side, I'm not even having a good day because Juve lost against Inter Milan. To be honest, I can't lie. I don't love Inter Milan. I really hate Inter Milan uh, and Torino. I'm being serious. But today Inter Milan played, even not played, they outplayed Juventus, especially in the midfield. I love Barella, the way that guy's play. Oh my goodness, he is top class player. His work rate, the way he covers the field. Uh, I don't know how even I can, I can say about Barella. He's the engine for Inter Milan. He's the Ngolo Kante for Inter Milan. He gives everything. He makes sure that he covers every corner in that field. And he's an amazing player to me. Uh, Barella, I don't know. He's, he's just a, he's the best uh, midfielder in Syria at the moment. He can play defensive midfield. I know they have Bro, uh, Brozovic. He can play uh, CM. He can play attacking midfield. He is amazing. And also, I believe he can play as a striker. Not the goalie, but he can play as a striker. Uh, they played today. Demfries played really good for Inter Milan today. Uh, on the other side, Juventus. I love Massimiliano Allegri. I'm a big fan of uh, Allegri. But today, I don't know what was he thinking, to be honest. That formation, that squad, I was not expecting Meretti to start. And even the substitute that he made, uh, he brought in uh, Paredes. <laughs> I was like, what's wrong with, uh, with Allegri? That was a bad sub. I was expecting Paul Pogba to come in, uh, Moise Keane to come in because Milik was kind of down. Uh, my point, uh, I saw Bonucci. Actually, I saw Bonucci in that uh, shit. I was like, in that lineup, I was like, nope. He made a mistake. I know Quadrado was, uh, I mean, he received a penalty, I mean, a red card. And... Um, I prefer Danilo. He's that player who fights for Juventus. These are the players. Szczesny fights for the team. Danilo is a fantastic player. He fights for the team. Cuadrado. Rabiot. Rabiot is really, really, really amazing player for Juventus. But today, Meriti, uh, in, especially in that midfield, Juve play really, they played no good at all. Uh, so they are playing against uh, Bogonia next week. Uh, and I mean, on the weekend, it's not going to be an easy game for Juventus. Bogonia right now, they are having a good, good season. They are playing really good. Uh, the last game I watched uh, for Bogonia was against AC Milan or Fiorentina, whereby it ended 1-1. And they have really good defense. And the midfield-wise, they are doing really, really good. Uh, on the other side, Chelsea lost against Bradford. Oh my goodness, the most confused team in Premier League is Chelsea. I don't know what's going on, really. Uh, I mean, I watch the game, the way they are playing, I mean, the way they play is good, they're moving with the ball good. I don't know what's going on with Chelsea for real. My opinion. They cannot score a goal. I mean, even it's not my opinion. It's facts. They cannot score a goal. So, and they have a striker. It's not that they don't have. I believe they have Fofana. He's really fast. Uh, they have Abu Mayang. And this position, actually, this time, Chelsea, they need to use Abu Mayang. Abu Mayang and Gio Felix, they, really need, uh, they need to use uh, those two guys. Leave about Sterling, Pulisic, Kai Havertz, especially Kai Havertz. Whenever you give him the ball, he brings, uh, he brings it back. And uh, he has been playing in the wrong position. So I don't expect Kai Havertz to score a lot of goals. Uh, Defense-wise, I can say it's okay, but uh, I don't know what's going on. Kepa, 
I don't know what's going on with Kepa too. He started really good this season, but so far we really, really miss uh, Mendy. But my opinion, Chelsea against Arsenal. I don't want Arsenal to win, but Arsenal, they're going to win that game because Chelsea right now, even don't try to place a bet on Chelsea. If you want to win easy money, just place uh, your bet against Chelsea. Yeah, I'm not advising you to bet, but I'm just saying, if you want to win money, just place on a, against Chelsea. I'm, I don't place bet, but just go ahead and win some money. Uh, other than that, Juventus, Borgogna, Chelsea, and uh, Arsenal. Still, still, Juve, actually, they have something to win. Uh, Europa League. But my favorite team is uh, Sevilla because that's their league to win. If it's not Sevilla, then I will go for Roma to win um, Europa League. Bayern Leverkusen, I watched the last game. They played good. But either Sevilla and Roma. Juve, if they change their mentality and if they start playing the way Juve... Against Napoli, Juve played good. I can say that. But the referee... Ooh, let me just keep quiet. The referee in that game just destroyed Juve. Especially the goal that Di Maria scored and the tackle that they claimed was a foul and the ref was next to that foul. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. And then the penalty... I'll leave about the second goal that the ball went out that, that's fine but we know today inter milan played really good they played amazing football congratulations to inter milan but i hope i don't know who won today i think fiorentina they are playing tomorrow i hope fiorentina is going to win uh, coppa italia i really really hope fiorentina is going to win uh, coppa italia juve still have a we have something to win we have europa that is a must that is that is a must juve to win that trophy other than that i'm out peace